price to sales as a metric can be applied only for comparing companies in the same sector right so you can compare price to sales of walmart and you can compare price to sales of let's say something like a costco right both will be at price to sale of one because both are low margin businesses can you compare price to sales of a walmart with price to sales of a tiffany no because that the margin profile is very very different so when you are comparing a price to sales of a persistent and emphasis with a price to sales of a microsoft a microsoft has to write a program once which is windows or the office suite and the marginal cost of selling a additional license or a additional subscriber is zero okay saas companies product software companies all of them will be at massively higher price to sales so price to sales you can compare only for like to like you cannot compare across different companies so that is one point on the question that you asked you mentioned market cap to gdp ratio so uh, for live mint itself i have a article on market cap to gdp ratio you can uh, google it and figure and uh, look at it buffett has been using it he's spoken about it i think it's a massively overrated ratio for the following reasons number 1 when you use price to price to sales ratio over periods of time there are massive dislocations in terms of the amount of formal economy which is in listed space versus unlisted space let me give you a extreme example let's take the take the uh, stock exchange of saudi arabia the market cap to gdp of saudi arabian stock exchange prior to saudi aramco listing and after the saudi aramco listing if you use it across time we'll say it was massively undervalued before aramco got listed and it was massively overvalued after aramco got listed in india you have had listings of uh, many companies over a period of time so at one point in time tcs was a unlisted company lic was a unlisted company in india most of the restaurants are in the unorganized space in the us you have the mcdonalds and uh, the starbucks and all of these are listed companies so comparing it cross country also is problematic market cap to gdp of a resource rich company will be very volatile a country which is dependent on petroleum uh, oil and gas uh, iron ore those kind of companies will be very volatile and will have a very different implication versus market cap to gdp of a country with highly innovative companies in uh, software uh, pharma r&d and uh, things like that and finally when you compare market cap to gdp of let's say you said market cap to gdp of us of whatever number you gave 2 2 and half whatever when you add the market cap of various companies listed in the us let's say companies like alphabet companies like microsoft uh, companies like uh, amazon do these companies derive all of their revenue and all of their profits only from the us no so in most of these companies us would account only for 40% of their operations so if you are increasingly the country of listing and country of operations may not have a direct correlation today when you add market cap of tata motors to indian listed market cap a lot of their business operation is via jaguar land rover so all of these things are fine to write opinion pieces which which was what your question was pretending to be for your but to my mind if i had to go back and have the same data i would not have sold this companies that is my opinion you can yes yes you can have a difference of opinion with that you can completely disagree with that but that's where we are
Mutual fund investments are subject to market risks. Read all scheme related documents carefully.